we're going to look at um, surpluses and shortages. Um, and so we have a supply schedule here and a demand schedule here. They've taken those numbers, plotted the points. This is your um, demand curve. This is your supply curve. So when you're looking to calculate surpluses and shortages, sometimes um, these uh, lines, your, your curves, aren't um, real clear. And so um, people try and guess where it's hitting the supply and demand curve. This schedule makes it very easy. So if we want to find equilibrium, we're going to go and look for the point where the quantity supplied is equal to the quantity demanded, and that's a price of $9. So at $9, our quantity supplied is $3,000, and our quantity demanded is $3,000. So what is the equilibrium price? It's $9. And then $3,000 is our equilibrium quantity. Then at um, $12, any dollar amount that is over and above the equilibrium price creates a surplus. Anything that's below this equilibrium price creates a shortage. And I always tell myself the short one is the shortage. Um, and so what happens up here, this is our quantity supplied and this is our quantity demanded. So at $12, our quantity supplied is going to be, and we just come down here, um, 4,000. We're going to, at $12, our quantity demanded is only 2,000. So they are willing to make more or supply more than what we want at that particular price. And by how much, we're just going to subtract that. So they want to supply 4,000. We only want 2,000. So that is a difference of 2,000. So we have a surplus that's created of 2,000 if the price is set above here. Then what's going to happen, and this is a trial and error, you've seen it if you've gone to a store ever and you've seen them mark out a price. It's because their original price is too high, so they've marked that out and they put 10 on it. Well, at 10, we're right around in here. Um, and so the quantity demanded goes up, quantity supply goes down, and we get rid of a few more. And they lower the price until we get to the point where um, the quantity supplied is equal to the quantity demanded and we clear the market at that particular price. All right, so what's eventually going to happen if the price is set at 12? Just like I said, it's got to work itself down to the equilibrium point. So the price is going to, they're going to end up lowering the price till it reaches the $9 equilibrium, and then the market is going to be cleared at that particular price. You don't have people who want it who can't get it, and then you don't have it sitting on the shelf where nobody wants it. We're going to clear the market at nine dollars. All right, so at three dollars, um, we're going to come up here, and at three dollars, we can look at it over here and see that our quantity supplied is one thousand and our quantity demanded is seven thousand, and we can see that here. We've got a fairly large shortage, which means our quantity supplied down here is one thousand. So quantity supplied, our quantity demanded at three dollars is 7,000. So we want 7,000 at that price, but the supplier is only willing to produce 1,000. So the difference between those numbers, 7,000 minus 1,000, gives us a shortage of 6,000. So what's eventually going to happen? What's eventually going to happen is that buyers are going to compete and they're going to, kind of like an auction, push the price up until it reaches that point um, where the market is cleared. So the price is going to increase till it reaches the $9 equilibrium and the market is cleared. All right, so these last few here at $15, we can come up, um, and you can't see it on my paper, but you've got it there on yours. At 15, we've got a quantity supplied, which is 5,000. We have a quantity demanded, which is 1,000. So we have a surplus here because we're above equilibrium, and the quantity they're wanting to produce is more than what we want, and it's 4,000 more than what we want at that particular price. At $6, we can come up here and see that it's below, and so it's a shortage. We're short here. So our quantity supplied at $6 is going to be 2,000. Our quantity demanded at $6 is 5000 
So they're willing to supply, um, hang on just a second, they are short. Our quantity demand is 5,000. They're willing to produce 2,000, so they are short 3,000 of these. 5,000 minus 2,000 is 3,000. And then at $9, if we go up here, that's our equilibrium point. So we've got that. We don't have a surplus or a shortage. Neither one of those exists. That's our equilibrium price, and that's exactly where it wants to be.